Father's Day is an amazing niche to get into and we're heading towards like that busy season that you can see some spikes in sales, but I'm going to show you how you can find specific niches to target by using Etsy as well as by using the free version of E-Rank. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start this whole Father's Day niche ideas on E-Rank and again, you do not need the paid version for this. You can just sign up for the free version to do this and you are just going to use the keyword tool. Um, and then I was just typing here like Father's Day shirts because this is the thing. Just designing a shirt that just says Father's Day, Happy Father's Day. If you're new, that's not good enough because there's so many shops that already have done that, that you coming into the market with something like that, you have to have a design that's super unique for you to stand out. So I love to use E-Rank to help me come up with like or find other like related niches that I could possibly target, right? that fall on their Father's Day, right? Or on the Father's, right? So if I go here to the bottom, I always like to do it by this competition and I start seeing, okay, guardian angel. So maybe like a dad that lost a baby or like something like, so those are already, like, that's already a good idea. And I like to write them down, you know, so that way I kind of know, or like um, a uh, angel dad, like a dad that lost a baby okay employee of the month bonus dad okay that's another good one right like a stepdad they also bonus that or it can also be like stepdad right uh father's days for son dominican dada sure so see that this is people like okay what do people call their dad some people call it that dad some people call it that daddy dada like there's so many different you know titles right Ooh, daddy and me shirts, right? Like now we're talking like you can do like shirts that are for the dad and for the child. Matching shirts, right? Um, let's see what else we find. Stepdad, matching shirts. First Father's Day, okay. So then I just write down all these ideas. And this is kind of how I do it. So I will literally go on E-Rank here at the top and you can type in anything father's day shirts father's day gifts sweatshirts whatever you want to type in and then you come down here and you just like search it by competition i always like to start with the lowest and then just start scrolling here and seeing what other you know related niches you can come up with that are related to father's day right and we got a handful already and then we write them down right here then we're gonna go on to etsy and then we're kind of gonna do the same concept on etsy but i'm gonna do like Father's Day gift because I always like to search gifts because it gives me like a broader, you know, search than just like t-shirts or sweatshirts. And I always like to look outside of the box of where I sell. And again, I'm always doing research in Canada window because again, Etsy will learn your pattern. So if you're always doing research on Etsy, Etsy will start to serve you the same type of things. And I always like to get different things, right? So again, what am I seeing? Funny, right? Guys, funny and Father's Day do really well. Like funny designs for this uh, niche are amazing. So again, you can do like funny, you know, dad, grandpa, whatever, something like that. So I already see that, right? We see personalized, right? So personalization is another big one in this niche and again you're writing you're seeing all these ideas and you're writing them down somewhere i don't care where you write them down but you want to write it down because you want to remember them and again you keep scrolling what else do you see father's day i mean personalization well this is like a matching right like we saw like the daddy and me matching one and they made it about like adventure like being outside or like the mountains that sort of stuff awesome like my daughter again funny our first Father's Day together, right? And then you can personalize it, right? Personalize it again. Funny. Again, right? You're seeing a theme. Well, you can even do matching, right? For like the mom and the dad. Again, cool dad's club. So again, so you will go and do this. Our first Father's Day. Grandma, grandpa, dad, dad. Um, and then I can even start going more specifically. Like maybe I want to say Father's Day shirt and see if i see something differently right okay this is funny funny so see funny shirts do well for this group personalized personalized funny right our first father's day right personalized um our first father's day matching you know daddy and me fathers i mean funny funny 
So see, we're seeing a pattern here, like funny, we're seeing personalized, right? Personalized, right? Dad, personalized. So again, that grandpa and then, so you'll go, oh, see, look, matching daddy and me. So again, some of the list that I'm finding on Etsy is literally what I found on E-Rank, right? So there's a lot of similarities between both of them. And then after this, I will start thinking about my life. For example, my husband, he is a dad of twins. So he's a twin dad, right? And um, he also helps me homeschool the kids. So he's a homeschool dad. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like um, he's an entrepreneur. So it's like you start thinking about the people in your life. So you can, if you're married, think about your husband and what type of husband he is. Or maybe the people around you, maybe your dad, your grandpa. So think about those titles and write them down. Again, my kids got grandparents, right? Like, so like grandpa, again, a lot of people don't call their grandpa just grandpa. What else do they call him? Popo, Papa, you know, maybe Italian or um, like all these different names, right? So those are all different angles, right? What other type of dads are they? Dads that like sports, you know, like the sports dad, right? Um, the dads that like certain activities, like they like hiking or they like hunting or fishing, right? So think about all of those type of people and add them to this list too. So you want to have a huge list because what's going to happen is then you're going to go on Etsy and you're going to search this list because Again, just because you came up with the list, it doesn't mean that people are also searching for it or like there's a huge demand for it. You want to make sure that there is demand for it. So, for example, if I want to see what people bonus that, right, I will just come back over here and say bonus that. Oh, look, bonus that give. Sure. So we're seeing people are searching for this. See, bonus dad, stepdad. So, again, you know, bonus dad. So again, we're seeing that people are searching for this, right? Let me see if I do shirt. Um, again, yeah, I'm seeing some stuff here. So again, this could potentially be an idea, right? So then I'll type it down here, right? And I'll do this for all the ideas that I found. I will go and see which ones are having demand. And again, if you're seeing that it's showing like popular now, bestsellers already, I mean, obviously we're not at the peak of people buying for Father's Day. So you might not see some bestsellers, but if you can see like, for example, if you click on the listing and you can see like reviews from maybe last year or when it last sold or when it was last published, then that can give you an idea that that design can do really well coming like Father's Day again. So if you can't find like bestsellers or popular now designs. So I will do that for all the lists that you came up with and to then you narrow it down to like a handful. Because again, you don't want to grab all this and say, oh, I'm going to create designs, two designs for bonus that. And then I'm going to do two data and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this one. Because then you're going to have so many different designs that you don't know if they're going to work. What you want to do is then you want to narrow it down to like two to three and then you want to go and really study those niches because you want to go and see what is doing really well for that niche. What designs do well, placements, graphics, colors, everything. And then you want to add designs based on that. You want to add to those specific niches. So that's why you have to go and like, first of all, go and validate each one of those types of dads and then narrow it down to maybe two to three and then target those specific types of dads and really offer different types of, you know, designs for those dads. Because again, we saw when we're doing research that there's some funny stuff, right? Like there's funny dad stuff, there's personalized dad stuff. So like just because you're in the same niche doesn't mean that you might like the same, you know, design. Maybe some people like it, you know, a black shirt and white. Or maybe, you know, a sand shirt in like black. So it's like you got to try different variants. Maybe people like pocket designs or maybe, you know, people want the design just chest and center. So that's why you have to go and study the niche so you can figure out what does really well. And again, guys, if you're enjoying this type of videos, please let me know in the comments so 
I know to continue to make this type of videos because I'm only trying to help you guys and I want to make sure that you are getting value and that this is making sense. So please let me know in the comments if you're liking this type of videos and if you'd like me to continue to make more of this type of video. So you made it to the end of this video and if you're still struggling with the whole research process, then I'm going to be linking this video next because on that video, I'll walk through through how I do research. See you in the next one.